So another addition to perspective. So I prepared again something simple. There is an eyeball, an eye on the left and it's side view. Okay. And then we lie this ruler, this tool that can measure angles. We lie it right in front of his eye. And in the middle of the eye, obviously, there is zero. Zero, right? Then there are angles involved. Everything that is above you has an angle. You have to look up, actually, to see it. Everything that is beneath you, you have to look down to see it. So there are different degrees of how much you look up or down. And if something is very far away, but it's above you, then it seems like you're looking straight, but actually if you focus on the object in the sky, you will have an angle that is not zero, but a little bit higher, maybe 10 degrees. So something that comes to you and is higher will be ascending and the angle with which you're looking at this object, such as an airplane that is flying above your head and it comes to you, will be very minimal at at the horizon let's say one two three five degrees but the further it comes to you this angle will be increasing right until it's right above your head and you don't turn your head you just stay there and you see okay you you have to look up 90 degrees so you also have to move your head to make the 90 degrees angle so you see there are angles involved and with the floor the same if there's a road underneath you and you have, for example, road signs on the side, like milestones or something, then you see that the milestone that you're looking at that is close to you has a very sharp angle, right? It's maybe 70 degrees that you're looking down because it's so close to you. But the further the road goes and there will be a milestone at the end, like close to the horizon, and you're looking at it with an angle of about 10 minus 10 degrees from zero right from your eye level okay so things that go away from you but are underneath you will rise up and the angle will be also decreasing okay and things that go above your head and they are moving further into distance this angle will be also decreasing until there is a zero right your eye level this line so this is what I meant when I was saying in the previous, previous video I said the collapsing of angles is happening at the horizon. This is exactly what I meant. There is zero and there are things above that and below that and anything has a certain degree to it. Any object that you're looking at has a certain degree to it. Very simple. That's how people also measure stars. You know, they use a sextant and it's measuring angles and through these angles people can navigate at sea but nowadays they obviously they don't do this anymore uh, maybe only a few will do it because usually what they're using is GPS but in the earlier days they were using these tools to measure angles from the Sun for example to measure the time to measure yeah all kinds of things distances and uh, courses so one other aspect about this is that each thing each object be it even the smallest of atom you know it has its own place in this universe that cannot change unless you put energy to this right you have water you have to heat it up so that it goes from being liquid to being a gas right so then the gas also each molecule of this gas has its own place in this universe there cannot be two things at the same place so they are exchanging interchanging they might be bonding creating a bigger molecule but this molecule has its own place everything has its own place in this universe where you standing i cannot stand where i am standing you cannot stand right you would have to push me away to be able to stand where I'm standing, right? Simple as that. So the, th the same goes with our perception. 
if we already perceive the surface lifting up, right, increasing, and then it hits the zero degree of our eye level, there cannot possibly be more surface because we're already seeing that last atom, so to say, of that surface that is then about five kilometers away from us. Okay, that's like to our vision, that's like the last atom that we're seeing and we cannot see through this. It's not a transparent atom, you know. Earth is not transparent, air is, right? We can see the stars because air is transparent. We can see a little bit through water if it's really clear, but oceans are also not clear, water, right? So we cannot see through this. That's why it's blocking our vision. It's blocking how far we can see actually. If there was no ocean and it was transparent, we could see right through that and we could actually see what's going on. We could still see the sun beyond the horizon when it's setting. But in reality, obviously, water is liquid and it's mixed in a way that we cannot see through this. And with Earth, it's even more clear that you cannot see through this. There is a barrier, a natural border, so to say, which is your horizon. And obviously, if you increase your height from your location, then you may cover more of that surface, but it will still be circular around you. And you may see maybe 100 kilometers ahead, but to each direction, right? 100 kilometers ahead, and you may cover more of that surface but beyond that, because of that angle, the collapsing of these angles at the end of the surface that you can perceive still, which is then the horizon. And the only reason why you still can perceive that last atom at the surface here is because there is an angle, right? Because, because there are these angles involved. And they go close to zero. And then there comes the horizon and then anything that is above that, right, the angles are increasing and you can see things that are further away because it's air, you can see through air. And a sun that is 10,000 kilometers away from you, you can still perceive Although it's so far, so much further away than your actual horizon is, your horizon is just 5 kilometers away, but the sun may be 10,000 kilometers away, and you can still see it because you're looking through the air, but once it comes to that point of, the, of your horizon of these 5 kilometers, and it, it's hitting these atoms that come in between, the ocean is then blocking your view, okay, or the ground wherever you are witnessing the sunset it may be an open field and then you see that it's blocking your view you cannot see through this and that is why you perceive it as if it's going down when all it does it's just turning above our heads at the same level making these circles throughout the year and that is what creates this illusion of sunrise and sunset.